everybody, it's Eva here. Welcome to my channel and welcome to a brand new Sims 4 speed build. And in today's video, we are tackling another big city style because we are building a Paris apartment. Um, I've been really loving building like New York and London inspired builds. So I thought I would give Paris a go because honestly, Paris and its architecture and the interior style of Parisian apartments is just so inspiring that I thought I would have to give it a go myself and check out this Parisian style and honestly it was a absolute blast. I had such a good time because it's such like an inspiring style to me and I really hope you will enjoy watching this Parisian apartment come together um, and the first thing that I always do when I build a apartment or I furnish an apartment is I replace all the windows and doors that ship with the original packs um, just because I really really hate the windows and the window situations the window placements everything is just not ideal um, for my layouts of apartments and also I love using CC windows so obviously I had to swap them out for some windows from the Paris set by Felix, um, which is obviously perfect for a Parisian build. And I also did a little trick to create a cute little balcony situation, which is very, very typical in Parisian apartments and Parisian buildings. In this specific apartment, which is a 50 Culpepper house, um, there is a little bit of a bay window situation in two of the rooms. And to replace all these windows, I obviously used tool mod. Um, so I thought I also, will create this um, balcony moment using tool mod which I did by placing some windows there that I then sized down to a really 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 tiny size so they're not visible and they're actually part of the apartment but it looks like there is um, an exterior like the outside out there so that's really really cool and I created a cute little balcony in the kitchen and the living room uh, and also in the bedroom but the other windows also have those little wrought iron fences along the windows which are very very typical Paris architecture but other than that I couldn't really do much Parisian details and stuff um, on the exterior here but I will have to build a Parisian like street one day like I do with my townhouses I think that'd be really really fun and I obviously have to build a Parisian cafe sometime um, but yeah today it's just the apartment um, and it's actually a one bed or one bath so it's not a very big one um, but but what I wanted to incorporate with all of these rooms was to have them all be walkthrough rooms so you can literally walk from one to the next to the next to the next which is actually really typical of Parisian apartments and like Vienna and Berlin and all of these Altbau buildings it's very very common to have <laughs> these rooms that you can only access by walking through other rooms and I obviously had to include like open doors like love 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 those open door moments in those Altbau apartments and Parisian apartments um obviously using the Paris set from Felix I don't think I have to mention that in every single room uh, but yeah heavily heavily using that set obviously for example also the fireplace is from that set and I I think a fireplace moment is like very very Paris so I wanted to include fireplaces in as many rooms as I could so we have one in the dining room the living room and the bedroom fireplaces just create such a cute vibe in a room and really cozy vibe as well and I cluttered that up with lots and lots of decor and flowers and all that jazz and what I really really loved about this apartment was combining old and traditional features with some more modern and more contemporary aspects or furniture pieces and decor items and stuff like that. The combination of traditional and new is like something I've been really enjoying recently and yeah I honestly really really like how this apartment turned out. I kept it in very very neutral and calming colors because most Parisian interiors that I looked at were kept very white and like in cream tones and I added a splash of black here and there to create a bit more depth and also obviously the beautiful herringbone floor that is by Harry. The, the wooden swatch that I chose really warms up the entire atmosphere because very white interiors can often look a bit sad and like cold in The Sims. White is just not a very good color in The Sims, it's very sad. But yeah, I tried to go for a very warm and inviting colorway um, of this interior and I, I really love it honestly I really hope you guys will like it too um, I mean if you do then please 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 show your support by liking the video and also subscribing if you're new around here because that would really really mean a lot um, and you're really helping me out there 
Um, but yeah, let's move on because this video is not very long and I need to get all my infos in about the building process. One thing that I did to create a really cozy and vibey atmosphere in this um, Parisian apartment was I added lots and lots of art and I expect the people who live here would probably go to like antique markets and shops in Paris and choose their art really, really carefully and add them together and curate a beautiful layout of, of all the walls. And yeah, I really wanted art to be a really important role in this build. And I think it really pulls through, especially with the wall paneling that I used. So I used like a mixture of the brownstone um, wall paneling and the Paris paneling. Um, I think those walls really benefit from having art on them. And it's so, so, so pretty. And makes the wall pop in a way. It's so cool. And I did use a lot of art by Max 20 from the new bedroom set and then lots of my Shuno Sons um, art. And of course, like lots of art from Felix and Harry as well as the modish set by Charlie Pancakes. Those are like my favorite prints of all time and I can use them in any build pretty much. So, <laughs> and what I also did throughout the entire build is I added a lot of like um, statues and really cool sculptures and anything like that looks a bit more expensive and like a really luxurious apartment because those Parisian apartments that you see on Pinterest and everywhere are just so expensive looking and like tasteful and there's always like a lot of stone involved and marble. Yeah, it just looks and feels very luxurious and I think adding those cool sculptures by Felix, for example, just adds a really cool interest and depth to the apartment as well. Um, and I've really enjoyed using them. I rarely ever use statues and sculptures and stuff like like that but for Paris it was just um, the perfect choice to do that here and I really love the outcome honestly really really love it I did experiment with statues and sculptures a bit when I did my Italian villa as well um, because I went for a very traditional um, Italian vibe there and I just feel like it it's it's coming to me and with the Paris one it just it came natural um, to use those kind of features here also the lighting in this apartment is absolutely stunning I really really loved how you get morning sun from the front and then evening sun from the side so all your rooms except I think the innermost room which I made a walk-in wardrobe are fully lit up and beautifully lit up as you'll see in the tour at the end because those shots are just chef's kiss with that lighting. Unfortunately the surroundings in San Myshuno don't look too Parisian so I had to like do some do some covering up of the, the area to make it look less American and like San Francisco-ish or New York-ish. Um, we really do need a kind of European big city world. I definitely need a new city world because I, I mean, San Marcino is great, but there's only so many lots that I usually build on and I just need like some European vibes like London or Paris or Vienna or Stockholm or Berlin or anything. Like I want more European city vibes. Let me know if you agree and if you want like a world like that in The Sims as well. Maybe we can pray together if we don't just get kits all the time. But yeah, definitely, definitely want a big European world um, where this would fit. I also had so much fun creating this kitchen because Parisian kitchens are very, very classy and elegant kitchens usually and involve a lot of marble and stones and really pretty materials. Um, and together with obviously that back paneling and everything. It just looks so elegant. Um, so I combined the Florence set by Felix, which is probably my favorite kitchen set that I've ever, ever seen in The Sims 4 CC. Um, I love that kitchen so much. Um, and I combined it with the munch counters from Charlie Pancakes, which are like probably my second favorite kitchen items. I love those counters so much. And then moving on to the bedroom, it's really, really minimal and really simple, especially like um, bed bedrooms in Parisian apartments are very, very sleek and um, kind of, they look kind of messy, but they're very, very simple in terms of color and there's not too much clutter going on. I really love like leaning pictures, lots of plants and mirrors and all that stuff. But other than that, it's, it's very, very simple. Um, obviously added a fireplace again, and I used a bed by Grim Cookies, which is like such a beautiful bed for when you want to have like a little messy duvet moment. Really, really need more of those to create like those cool staged um, interior design moments that I want to achieve so much here. Um, and yeah, and then last but not least, there is a bathroom and obviously a walk-in wardrobe. And in that bathroom, I went for a more traditional style in terms of 
appliances like the bathtub is really old the sink is a bit more modern but very very small which is quite typical of Paris apartments and obviously like a tr more traditional look with the classic tiles and keeping the wallpaper panelling throughout the entire bathroom but yeah unfortunately I don't have time for much more to talk about here um, the tour is still coming up and I hope you will enjoy that and like I said I hope you had fun watching this video and you enjoyed seeing it all come together and yeah I can't wait to see you again next week with a brand new Sims 4 speed build. Bye!